thing. I mean, let's take a look at Jake right now, standing on the starting block. This kid is jacked. He, are, a lot of these kids are jacked. Are you kidding me? Nine and ten years old? This kid is swole. Look at his <laughs> arms. Part of the new era ninja squad. Oh, my god! So, you know, he's been doing... Obviously not this exact. And he makes quick work but, you know, of it. He's been working out with Drew Dreschel. Love to see him Working on a lot of the up. techniques that Drew likes that he put into this course. I mean, listen, if you're training around Drew, I have high expectations for you. Love to see him take a rest, something we did not see the younger kids do. He's resting, he's thinking, he's methodical. That's what we need to see in order to see a clear. Exactly right. And you know, he, he wants to get through this whole stage. Right. Maybe, maybe the trick on the kids was they were unsure if they were going to beat the gumdrops and it was just going to be a race for the gumdrops. Right, right, These mature right. kids can absolutely do everything that is in this rig. Of course. No, you're right. You're completely right. And moving the nail file down he, the track. And he looks solid. Might be looking straight for the rope. And, and he does. That's, and that's a smart move. And you know what? That's also a very Drew Dreschel-esque move. <laughs> yep. To save time. I can time. see that. I love that. Excellent work by Jake. He uses feet on the rope. Saving some of that upper body strength. This is an upper body dominant course, of course, on stage three. Right. So using his feet was a smart move. Jake is looking great so far. About 18 seconds still of rest. But you know what? He's going to go when he's ready. He rejects your timer. He's going for when he's ready. <laughs> looking really, really strong here. It's important to note, too, that these bars spin, exactly which, which right. is why they're taking they're a mixed grip. There we go. All right, there we go. So it looks like th the... Uh, Start button wasn't hit, which is why there was that weird timer. Good work, good timing on the on the on the swing there. So far, so good. Let's see how he does on the gumdrop. It was giving the younger kids a, some big problems, but I think only he can Isaiah do it. was able to grasp this first one. Excellent work. He grabs it though. Man, we I, know this is possible. You know what? I'm gonna beat a dead horse. I'm gonna reiterate it. This kid is jacked. <laughs> do you see his lats? Oh my goodness, that is incredible. That's the, unbelievable the for, for a nine to ten year old to look like that. This is ridiculous. I bet that kid is hiding a six pack. <laughs> and you see his hair. He's got the long hair. Do we, have, do we have a potential Daniel Gill on our hands? <laughs> Well, he's certainly going to be a star in the ninja community if he can beat stage three in front of all of these people. He is on planet 11. There are these hanging hooks that he's got to maneuver the cannonball holds through. Those, that, this is going to require insane hand-eye coordination. I mean, this is precision on a level that is just crazy. It, this is such a difficult obstacle. We really haven't seen anything quite like this on the show even. The time bombs is what I think of first, but not even the time bombs require such precision. Right, Look exactly. at that. Does it on Drew his first Dreschel try. Putting these athletes to the fullest extent, although we have seen <sighs> some hooks similarly in some competitions, but I've seen those in the pros, not in the 9-10. Right. It's, it, this is unbelievable. And it, you're expecting this kid to dead hang on this beast ball for all this time. Little trouble getting onto that hook. And now I mean, it's starting to he, spin. He's been hanging off. There, there it is. Go. Oh, but he's got he's to get back up. Okay, there we go. Is he going to dismount from here? He's going to dismount from here. This is incredible. And it's a smart choice, but it's a big move. Oh, he's going he's gonna to match. Good move. Oh, careful. He's be careful. Don't, don't on that hit athlete. yourself with a cannonball. Now he's going to go back. Wow, choosing to go back. I think he's going to pull back, match, and then go on the same swing. That's a good observation. You're probably right. You're probably right. But he's right. kind of off to the side of the platform. He is. He's looking a little twisted up. But we've got to take. I mean, just consider how long he's been hanging at this point now. I mean, this run is three and a half minutes old. He can go to the platform. I think he, he's almost thinking about going straight to the ledge. I can't believe he's still hanging on. This is this is <laughs> crazy. This is a war. I mean, he, he's got to do something here. He's got to try something new. He needs to kick forward and backward to generate some circular momentum. Because you're right, he's not straight he's got in the platform. He's got it. Come on, Jake. And this is it. That's this it. Is it. Mount. Yes! yes. Incredible. Come on. Are you kidding me? And he needs, Take your time. He needs every Take bit. Take your time. No, that full no, 30 do seconds. do not go. Do not go. He Stop. needs every bit of Breathe. the rest. You have 18 seconds. Take your time, Jake. Wow. Wow. The vertical limit is next. Now, this is not the one centimeter version. We're, right. We're not going to expect, you know, the 9 to 10-year-olds to do that. We have scaled it to an appropriate ledge thickness, probably an inch, maybe a little more. He's looking good. Great wow. reach out. And wow. Look, and look at, look at the Come bent on, arm Jake. strength. Come on, Jake. Look at his Jake. arms at 90 degrees. Are you kidding me? Yes. Wow. This is an incredible performance Up by Jake. Up the rope wall. A proper mountain climber this time. Wow. Thing.
This kid! I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just like... And onto the inverted <laughs> rock wall. This is... This is outrageous. The, I mean, he fought through so much adversity. So it looks like these rock walls sort of have that spiral in the middle like a book. Maybe easy transportation. Not super familiar with this rig. Seven seconds left. But, you know, DGS doing a super good job putting all of these new creative obstacles together. Y you know, some some facilities are going to end up with these. Oh, you know, he's he's got he's to change hands. I mean, oh, oh wow. Wow, he's grabbing the underside. He Wow, this is incredible. If he clears this after spending all that time hanging earlier, now I'm, I'm going to be shocked. I do not know if this is hands and feet or only hands. But in any event, he is motoring through. Second half now. Come on, Jake. This is incredible. I've never seen a run go for six minutes before. At least not in stage three. Our viewers at home don't have a great angle, but he's 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 still on those rock climbing holes. Not anymore. He is on the platform. Woo! This is incredible. I mean, an absolute roar those, onto cane track. Those holds don't get any easier on the other side. After this, just the body prop, we have widened those walls, essentially forcing the hands on one wall, feet on another technique. Eight seconds now. Vertical grip to be tested for sure. These famous DGS canes that we've been seeing so much of throughout the season. Oh my goodness. And he's got to move it up, kind of like the ring jump. And you know, grab grab low to move, oh. grab high to hold, and you know what? As soon as he tried to move it, Great that was all he had. Jake. Great work. I mean, that was our first run on stage three for this age group. And he set the bar high. That... Good luck to everyone who has to <laughs> run after that. He set the bar.